Hi. <laughs> Are you ready to see this thing finished? If you've missed any of the previous episodes, there is a link to the project playlist, which has the whole series on it, and that'll be in the description box. But for you in the cheap seats that don't wanna watch back, I'm making this wrench. It's gonna be sold at auction by the Metal Museum in Memphis, Tennessee, coming up very soon. And if you're ready to be done, I'm ready to be done. So let's get to work. All right, this is where we're at right now. Um, this is the handle. It's turned out of purple heart wood. Yeah, so there, it's going to be there. And, you know, this part is going to be more substantial. So I feel like it looks a little off balance right now and, like, thin right here. But there will be that, you know, this will be here. And there's another plate that's going to go, you know, here. So I think that when it is all together, it won't look like on balance and then this you know is going to be cut off right now i have to drill the hole all the way through this so it's like a bead and then this will get cut probably probably there or something you know it's got my little stone on the underside and so it's going to be right there through up until probably here or something and i'll tap that and then this will go in and it'll all screw together and then we'll be done. Um, that's it. All right, well here it is, the hole drilled in it and it's cut. Now I'm gonna use my disc sander to just sand off this little nub. Maybe it needs to be a little shorter. I'm done. I did it. It's completed. Do you want to see it? Okay, I'll show you. 
All right, here's all my little pieces. So here's the original. And then these are all my little pieces. So I've got, this is the back spine of the piece. This is the bottom jaws. This threaded element is this threaded element here. I've got this little stopper here, which you probably don't recognize, but it's, it's this element that's gonna hold everything in place and keep the screwing element from pulling out. And then, and I turned some purple heartwood into this beautiful little sweet handle. And then this is actually the nut that kind of holds the, the handle onto this back spine area. So I'm gonna put it together for you. Well, that's it. It's kind of bittersweet once you finish something, huh? And then now this is going to come to an end. But um, I still was, when I was choosing what uh, previous tiny tool to talk about in this final video outro of the series, I still had this tiny machinist square and this ratchet and also these tiny clamps and i i just i know i got a little emotional at the end of episode five when i was talking about how much the enjoyment and entertainment that you get from my videos gives me a whole new kind of creative outlet and helps my art have so much more further reach uh, with your help and support this channel has just grown bigger than I could have ever imagined. Um, before, I just kind of felt like not many people really understood what all I did or how much work I was putting into each thing. But if you've watched this whole series or my other videos, then now you do know and, and you know me and I'll never be able to thank you enough. So if you have any suggestions of tools that I should you know, make next year or something that I haven't made yet, be sure to drop a suggestion in the comments below because I might be running out of ideas. <laughs> After watching this entire series, if you're interested in bidding on this tiny wrench or any of the other items, we are extremely lucky because bidding is available online. It wasn't always like this, and I view this new online style as a huge advantage to us who can't be there this year in person. The auction will be live on Saturday, October 23rd. I'm obviously not gonna bid on my own piece, but I'm also not going to tell you what I am planning on bidding on because frankly, I don't need competition from you. We're friends, remember? 
you can go online right now and preview all of the items and I'll put a link in the description box, but this is the only auction like this in the world that focuses on metal art, iron art, like the whole range and usually even some historic pieces. It's just mind blowing. There's nothing else like it. And all of the money raised by the auction sales go directly back into the programming that the Metal Museum does to support metal artists like me and our next generation of up and comers. Yeah, so let me know what tool you think my next year's donation should be. And thanks for sticking this one out with me. Thank you, Ironclad Crew, as always, for helping me make sure that my production level is as high as possible. I love you. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Oh yeah, I just wanted to say one more thing. I'm so happy that I don't have to wear these clothes anymore. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>